Howdy y'all, it's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns in beautiful, you know it, Atlanta, Georgia. Today is, what is today? The June 27th, 2021. So in today's video, uh, it's about before eight o'clock in the morning, and I'm gonna do a quick review of something you may be interested in that you can rent at Home Depot, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use it in the backyard. We're going to be reviewing the Mantis four-stroke tiller. Now, this little gem right here, you can rent at Home Depot. And the reason that I have rented this is because if you remember the video where I put up the silt, silt fence, uh, I have a big bare area that I'm trying to get the Bermuda to creep up by the end of the summer, which it will. But the ground is really, really hard packed and I need to put a little bit of topsoil in there but I'm gonna break the soil up um, in order to get it to grow faster. I've been watering that area twice a day and the grass is doing beautifully and it has started to creep up, but that basically it's clay back there and it gets baked with the sun all day, so it's not a ideal situation. So, the, uh, let me make sure that this is in the frame. So these are like, um, 35 36 bucks for um four hours and this is the what is this the four tine one no one one two three yeah it's got four tines but it's got eight blades on it and i'll turn it around for you to see it's very light it's only like 35 pounds it's got a little kickstand and uh, these are the tines this is a four stroke unit the smaller one you've probably seen on tv is the two stroke now this thing is broke um screw came out of it or whatever but it's really easy to start there's an on off button right here on the handle and you just set the choke and then crank it right up it's very quiet um it's gonna be a little bit more quiet than a than an actual two-stroke unit but Yeah. So it's got some um, kind of rubberish coated handles right here. You've got your safety lock and then you've got your um, throttle right there. That kickstand doesn't really hold it. I think this thing's kind of wore out. Uh, but anyway, it takes regular uh, gas, of course, because it's a four-stroke. It's not pre-mixed. But let's go in the backyard and look at what this thing has got to uh, accomplish for us today. All right, so here is what I've got to till up anywhere where you see uh, dirt, just bare dirt. I am going to get some topsoil. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this gets baked pretty much all day. I'm only gonna go to about right there. But this is just hard clay. Once I bust this up, get some topsoil throw in there, and then I'll cover it over with some straw. But uh, yeah, you can see the Bermuda really uh, starting to creep up. This thing has come up almost 10 feet just from last year. But these are where I took out the the big privets so i'm gonna get all that taken care of today all right so let's uh let's get this tiller up here and see if it will handle this all right let's do this see if this thing works
Like this works really good.
идет. roots in here. So this is definitely the hardest part of the whole job because that's really steep. But I got a couple of roots right over there I need to bust up, but <clears throat> this is doing very, very well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this entire thing and I'll come back and show you what it looks like after I'm done. All right guys, so I gotta tell you that this little tiller is phenomenal. I gotta bust a root out of here. This thing actually will pull some roots out, but this one's pretty big. Well. There we go. I'm only gonna put just a tiny bit of topsoil because actually uh, I'm not really gonna need more. Get that big old root. Yeah, this thing is, uh, I'm just gonna take a stiff rake and smooth out most of this area. I don't think adding any topsoil is gonna add value here because the dirt is actually pretty nice and rich. Where's that root? Yeah, the bad thing about doing this in the morning is it's really humid, but it's kind of cool out. So, but yeah, look at that.
Now, obviously, if this was a garden, you'd want to uh, amend the soil with something, but let's uh, see if this will pull that root out. Big old root right here. Man overboard. Get the axe back up here. So yeah, I'm pretty much I'm very pleased with this. I think um, if you're looking for something that to do some kind of what I'm doing. The guy at Home Depot was actually, he said, uh, this is really just a cultivator. I said, don't worry about it. I said, it'll work. <clears throat> he didn't think it would really work very well. But, uh, it did. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna put, I have two bags of topsoil over there. I'm gonna dump over right there where that, that main hole was, or divot, and uh, just till it in. Spread it out, and then I'll spread out the, uh, I'll spread out everything. Sorry about shooting into the sun, but I'll, uh, I'll come back when everything is nice and smooth. All right, let me show you the final result. Now keep in mind that if you were actually seeding, like fescue or rye or Kentucky 31 or something like that, you would not put it this, this wheat straw this heavy. This is for erosion control. Uh, since I've loosened the soil so much and we get torrential thunderstorms here it is very possible that this dirt could go and actually wash all down in the yard here but since I did this then it will hopefully the grass will start creeping up so it's got about 10 feet on this side to go and it will eventually spread two times a day of water I've got two placements for the hose to reach, or for the sprinkler to reach both sides. It will, um, it'll creep up, and the Bermuda will go right in this stuff and pop right out. Once it gets pretty established, then I will uh, start cutting it. But anyway, let me show you the uh, the tiller one more time. All right, guys, so let me back this up. This project is done. The only thing that I need to do now is to continue to keep the grass back there watered. Uh, this being the end of June, we've got July and August, which are the super fast growing periods for Bermuda grass and that stuff will go all the way to the fence. So um, all it takes is a little uh, water and a lot of heat and the Bermuda will go. So as far as the mantis, this thing is awesome. I really, really did not think that it was going to do as, as well as it did because 
Well, the thing is only, I think 36 pounds, but it, that soil was really, really hard. And after I was able to till it up, um, I didn't really, the soil is really, after you get under the first two inches, it's, it's pretty rich soil. So I didn't, I only put two bags of topsoil right where there was a little depression uh, just to add a little bit more, but it didn't, the rest of it didn't need it. It was actually good soil. So uh, very pleased and the Bermuda will, will do it very well. So I'm not sure which model that is. You can go on Manis's website. I would actually own one of these if I would use it all the time because it's really that good. If you have a garden, I think it'd be really good. But anyway, I got it at Home Depot. Cost me $36 and I need to get this back uh, in the next 40 minutes or I'm gonna get charged the whole daily rate. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching my videos and I will see you on the next one.